Hi, my name is Gerhard Kruger, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and configure load tests using QWizard Pro Load Testing. To start the recording process, we'll select Record Load Test from the script menu. This will open up our Record New Load Test window. We'll select our application and hit the Record button to start the recording process. At this point, QWizard Pro will open up our application. In this case, it'll be a browser based application. Note that QWizard Pro Load Testing only applies to web based applications. Now I'll be executing a number of actions on my CRM system and as I do so QWizard Pro in the background is now recording all of these actions. Once I've completed the actions that I would like to execute I'll simply be closing my browser as well as hitting the stop button from the QWizard recording toolbar. QWizard will now generate my script for me. The script can be viewed in the keyword as well as text view. Now in this case we are recording against our ASP.NET web application. For ASP.NET applications I will need to add a number of session variables for the load test to execute. Things like view state and other session variables will need to be added. Note this only applies to ASP.NET applications. Now as we are finishing adding our session variables inside of our script we can now go ahead and play back our load test. We'll do that by selecting the run load test from the script menu. We'll specify the number of virtual users we'd like to simulate, the script, which is this one we've just created, the computer that will be executing the script, which is my computer. However, I can also specify other computers. I will select the uh, browser types I would like to emulate, in this case Internet Explorer and Safari, and a number of other settings can be set as well as the duration for this execution. We'll select Run to start the execution process, and the system will simply show us a dialog showing the number of users being loaded as well as the time. Now once the uh, process has completed, QWizard Pro will generate a report that will show us a lot of information about the script we've just executed, such as start and end time, number of users, response time, etc. It will also include graphing that will show us the number of virtual users, response time, hits per second, as well as bytes per second for our particular load test that we've just executed. Now for more information regarding QWizard Pro load testing, please visit www.cpine.com.